Good morning. This video is for you, fly babies who get a paycheck. Yes, it's for you. So if you work outside the home, um, if you work Monday through Friday with weekends off, or you work shift work with odd days off, this video is for you. If you are not off on Saturday, you can use this video on the day that you are off in the middle of the week or in part of your three-day weekend, and you can do these things on that day, okay? All right, I'm designing this for eight to five, Monday through Friday-ish, because that's what I'm familiar with, although I did work shift work in the early part of my motherhood, so I know what that's like as well. I worked all nighters sometimes. Um, all right, here we go. During the week, when you get up, still do your morning routine. I know that you're resistant because you don't have enough time, but think of it this way. In the morning when you get up, you still get up. You, you may not make your bed. I'd like you to add that. Even if there's a, a spouse in the bed, just pull your side up. You don't have to make it beautifully. Just pull the side of your, sh your sheets and covers up. Um, but you get up, you go to the bathroom and you wash your face, you brush your teeth, you put on some makeup, you fix your hair. These are all parts of a morning routine. Um, you get dressed, two shoes, because you're going to work, you put on some jewelry. That's all part of your regular morning routine. I'd like you to add, wipe that sink out and swish the toilet. How long does that take? Wipe the sink out, swish the toilet, flush, put the toilet brush back, well, I'd say a minute, <laughs> so add that. Then go to the kitchen, empty the dishwasher, which I know you're not doing, empty the dishwasher while your coffee's brewing or your tea's steeping. Okay, empty the dishwasher. If you absolutely cannot do that, then assign it to someone in the house because that dish dishwasher needs to be empty during the day so that when people who are home, like kids getting home from school earlier or whatever, they can fill it as the day progresses and you don't have a buildup uh, on this, in the sink of dishes. And then when you have supper at night, you put the rest of the dishes in there from the supper dishes, uh, wash up what needs to be washed up, you're done, it's so much easier. So let's go back, morning routine. So that morning routine, because you work, I, I need you to have your purse, your keys, your coat, whatever else you need to bring. The kids as well need to have a launch pad. That's the place where you know it's always gonna be because you don't have time to look for your keys when you're running late for work, right? And uh, I don't think you should be running late for work. And I think that's a very bad reflection on you at work. So let's make sure that we get up in time, that we don't delay. Here's the worst thing about us fly babies is that we say later, or we push the snooze button. Jump up right away. Just Avoid the temptation, jump up right away so you won't be late for work. It feels so good to get to work on time. And make sure you account for your traffic. If it's not a school day, it's gonna be easier. You know, if the kids are out that day, easier in traffic. It may not be easier for you, home life, but easier in traffic. And then um, get to work on time, it's gonna reflect on you in a positive way and also affect your head for work. Okay, back. So. Make sure that you um, also think about your laundry. Now, I know you're not gonna be there to babysit those machines during the day, but depending on where you live, some people can put their laundry in in the morning, and then when they come home, take it out and put it in the dryer and it's not sour. That doesn't work for me personally in North Florida. I've never got that to work for me. However, I have done it before where I run the rinse cycle one more time with a little downy and it seems to make them not to have that little smell, but it's not my favorite thing to do. So you might wanna just wait till you get home. As soon as you walk in the door, put the, take your mail, sort it, shred, put away, action, I mean file, action, shred, file, action, put them in their proper boxes, get the shred or the garbage out, and then go through one inch of your paperwork, one inch, and then go start the laundry. Go ahead and put whatever's in the on the floor, in the basket, in the bat, in the laundry, that's called a washing machine, in the washing machine and turn it on with some detergent. Then while that's washing, you can go ahead and start supper. See, so you're having to collapse some time frames, so you're gonna start supper. Um, while you start supper, keep your ear out for when that machine is ready and you can put that load in the dryer. Um, once supper is done, everyone's served, then dishes go in the dishwasher, wash the pots and pans if they don't fit, 
put some soap in it. Don't turn it on yet because there, you know there's going to be a cereal or ice cream bowl later on. Just leave it. Wipe your sink out and wipe your counters off. Wipe your stove off and give a little sweep to the floor if you've spilled anything. I'm a pretty messy cook, so I generally have to sweep a little bit where I was standing. Okay, now, now we're still on, on the weekdays. So um, the next thing you're gonna do is when you hear the dryer buzz, let's say you're in the middle of dinner and it goes off. Well, you can wait just a few minutes, but as, as soon as supper's done and the dishes are in the dishwasher, you have to make a beeline to the, to the dryer. If they've gotten cold, warm them up a little bit and then open it up and take the clothes out, fold them, hang them up or put them, or, or put them in a drawer fold them and hanging them up and or do you know what I'm saying fold the clothes and put them away or hang the clothes up and hang them in the closet that's what I'm trying to say okay and then you're done you've done a load of laundry if you do that every day that you work that's five loads of laundry on Saturday you might want to catch a couple more we'll get to Saturday in a minute um, and then think about getting ready for bed you know this is your work week so think about getting ready for bed you need to be sharp for tomorrow so you want to make sure you're getting eight hours of sleep. And you know what? People don't realize who don't work, how exhausting it is to use your, if you're sitting at a desk job all day long, it's exhausting to just think all day long about things you don't want to think about. So make sure you get enough rest. You need to rest that brain and your body. And I hope you are getting a little walk at lunch or something to get your, get your blood moving. But make sure you get your seven to eight hours of sleep. And if you do happen to wake up in the middle of the night, don't fret. Just relax, and if you can't go back to sleep, go watch TV on the couch and sleep there. It's better to get sleep somewhere than just lay in bed and fret and toss and turn. Okay, that's just my opinion. That's what I had to do, especially when I hit my, you know, uh, menopause stage, which for me was at 39 because I had a complete hysterectomy at that age. But you know, from 39 on, I would have those times where I just wouldn't sleep. Now I'm good again. I'm 63. <laughs> There's hope. All right, so. Um, but I still wake up sometimes, but anyway, I don't work, so it doesn't matter. But for you, you need to rest. It does matter. It does matter, but still, you really need to get your rest. Okay, make sure, and I think you'll sleep better because before you go to bed at night, you're going to lay out your clothes. You're going to make sure your lunch is ready if you have to carry it. The kids' lunches are ready if they have to carry it. Their book bags are ready and by the door if you have kids. Um, Anything, let's say you had to bring a casserole to work, you know how we have those days, which are always such a bother because then you have to make sure it doesn't fall over in the car or make sure it stays warm or whatever. But make sure you don't forget it because if you make it and then don't bring it, it's such a bummer, right? Or if you forget to bring it all together, that's a real bummer. Like didn't make it, that's embarrassing. And then you have to run to Publix or Kroger or wherever and buy a potato salad, that's not good. So. Make sure you have whatever you need to bring. If it's a refrigerated item, you look, put a sticky on your purse where you can see it that, or on your keys, you know, don't forget. Get yourself in the car and get to work. Follow the traffic rules, drive safely, and don't put your makeup on in the car. Put it on in the morning like we talked about, okay? So, so you're gonna feel better anyway. My point is you're gonna sleep better because all that's gonna be done in the morning, you don't have to dig through your clothes and go, oh, I hate this, that doesn't fit, this has a spot. You're gonna figure it all out the night before when you pick out your clothes. So you're gonna not worry about the hem being out on your slacks or your button popped off or you have to put a scarf on because you've got a spot on your blouse or whatever, or your earring back is missing. It's all gonna be there. And um, I always found that comforting. Okay, next, um, actually that's it, that's routines. That's your five routines. Your morning routine, your paper routine, your laundry routine, your after dinner routine, your evening routine. You just have to kind of tweak them like I told you. Now, if you are with me for more than a week, you need to be adding in the weekly plan. But when you work, sometimes it's not convenient to do the weekly plan in the standard way. The standard way is Monday is weekly home blessing. Well, when you come home at six o'clock and dinner's not ready till 7.30 and you're not done till 7.00, 50 and you're not it, the kitchen's not done till 8 15 you really don't want to clean your house for an hour you might like to split it into five or six days and work 10 or 15 minutes that's fine um, for me personally I moved that to Saturday so that's going to be a Saturday job when I was working next um, is Tuesday free day well free day is going to be all week long 
because you're not going to be doing most of this stuff or one or two of the days during the week. You're not going to be doing some of this stuff. All right, Wednesday is air, I mean is um, planning day. So planning day is something you might be able to do in the evening because it seems to be something that we sidetracked people love. We just love to plan. My husband says, I, I love to raise chickens on paper. That's what he calls it. So if you can sit down in the evening one day and think about what you want for your menu for the next week, menu planning is a huge time saver when you're a, home, when you're, um, uh, a payroll fly baby. So sit down and, and make your menu, but first I recommend you do take a peek in the fridge, make sure you throw out the old stuff, the leftovers that nobody ate, those kinds of things. Look and see if maybe there's some good leftovers you need to utilize this week. Um, check your freezer, check your shelves. You don't wanna just be buying the same things over and over and maybe you're not using it and it's building up and now you have five cans of beans in there or whatever that you're not gonna eat. Your shelf space is so valuable. It's expensive real estate. That's what I always call it, expensive real estate. Don't waste it with cans and boxes of things that you're not gonna eat that are gonna go bad because you never ate them. So clear that out. Maybe that could be a Saturday job for you on the day when we're in the kitchen. That's That was last week, so don't worry about cleaning it right now. I just want you to take inventory. It doesn't have to be detailed, don't go nuts, but just take an inventory in your head. What do I have in here I could use? Oh, I've got boxed mac and cheese. I've got spaghetti sauce, I've got noodles, I've got canned beans, I've got whatever, you know, take inventory and then make your grocery list. And it's gonna be your menu minus what you don't have. So on your, I mean your menu, yeah, you make your menu and what you don't have goes on your grocery list. Okay, so have your grocery list ready. You can do that during the week. Then on Thursdays is errand day. That's the day you go buy your groceries. Some of you might be comfortable doing that. I was never comfortable buying my groceries during the week. I wanted to really take my time and I, I was trying to be frugal and it wasn't a good time for me after work. So Saturday, that was the second job that got moved to Saturday, grocery shopping. Then Friday in the weekly plan is, um, is clean your car and purse day. Now, cleaning the car does not mean getting in your, down on your knees and scrubbing you know, the carpet and, and vacuuming and all that stuff. It just means taking stuff out of there. Take the junk out of your car. So you could do that in the evening on Friday. Just take a quick peruse of the car and see what are the kids left in here? What have I left in here? Um, some of us who work are bad about leaving work-related things in the car, then we have to go back in and get it in the middle of the night in our bare feet because we forgot we had to do something at home. Um, so obviously I've done that before. Just bring everything in. Take everything in. If you have to take two trips, that's okay. Bring it all in. Don't, don't clutter the counter with it. Put it away. We have to complete our processes. So be disciplined and put it away. My hairbrush goes in my drawer in the bathroom. This sippy cup goes in the dishwasher. Ugh, rinse it out first. This baby lovey blanket goes in the baby's crib. Or no, it's pretty dirty, let's put it in the wash. So you know what I mean, you get the idea. This empty cup uh, from McDonald's with melted ice in it, garbage, pour the water out, put it in the garbage. It takes a couple minutes, but it's not hard work. It's not labor, it's just a little action that you have to do to keep your car in shape. You'll feel better when you get in that car on Saturday with the kids, and even if it's not vacuumed and it's dirty on the outside, there's no stuff in it. Okay, occasionally you might wanna run it through a, a car wash and give it a good vacuum. Um, you could do that. I've done that on my lunch hour. Um, I've occasionally done it on my way home, but in general, that's also a Saturday job. So on those odd occasions, that, that would be something I do when I'm running my other errands, like buying groceries. And then Saturday is family day and Sunday is renew your spirit day. So Saturday is also gonna be family day. So really four things, weekly house blessing, zone, extra laundry, family day. That's what's happening today. Sunday is going to be routine, because we do routines every day, routine and renew your spirit day. That's it. You're not gonna do any of these other things on Sunday. You really need to have a day of rest where you relax and enjoy your family and enjoy yourself because tomorrow is a brand new week. But it's a good thing you like your job because you're gonna enjoy that too. Okay, so let's go over today. What are we gonna do today? Today is Saturday, March 18th. I'm finally getting to the meat of this thing. Um, it is 
uh, family day, so we're going to make time for our family. I know you're getting this late today because I slept late today. I apologize. But I will make these from now on on Friday night, so you will have them Saturday morning first thing. But you want to do your morning routine. So get up, make your bed. In fact, strip your bed because you're going to do weekly home blessings. So get up, strip your bed, take your sheets to the laundry, put them in, the, I mean, to the washer, put them in the washing machine, put the detergent in and turn it on. Okay, go to the bathroom, wash your face, brush your teeth, moisturize your skin, brush your hair, put your clothes on that you laid out yesterday. I don't care if it's yoga pants and a t-shirt or a hoodie, put those on, put your shoes on and uh, wipe the sink out. And if you want a little makeup, I think it's a great idea. You can just do the five minute makeup routine. I know you wear makeup all week long and you want a break, but this isn't for everybody else. This is for you. So how about doing this? Wash your face, put a little moisturizer on, put a little foundation, a little blush, a little lipstick, and some mascara. You don't have to do crazy stuff. Just a little bit. It'll make you feel so much better. A little lip gloss, a little blush, a little mascara. Okay, brush your hair, put on your yoga pants, or put on your whatever you want to wear. It's up to you. But get dressed, and then wipe out that sink, swish the toilet. Go to the kitchen, empty the dishwasher. Maybe somebody else did it all week long, but now you're doing it. Empty the dishwasher, make yourself some coffee, get breakfast for the family, or if your husband makes breakfast, or one of your older kids, awesome start, you hear the laundry? Take the next thing, take the, when the machine stops, put your sheets in the dryer because you want them to be ready when you're done doing your home blessing. Okay, the next thing we're gonna do is paper routine. So get the mail from yesterday. If you haven't sorted it, sort it. You have an action pile, you have a 2B filed pile, and they should be in a little container or basket, should, is not a good word, could be, or might be. You could put them in a file, like a Pendaflex file folder system that you have an action and to be file, and um, make sure the shred or the garbage goes out. And then go get your pile of paper that you've accumulated all over your house. Make sure it's all in one stack. Take an inch, you know, an inch of it, and do the same thing you did to your mail. 98% of the stuff that we have laying around our house in the form of paper clutter is garbage. It is, trust me. So it'll be a quick go through. Go through it, get rid of it. Now it's not the time to start couponing. We gotta get the house in order first, okay? Now it's not the time to save for a garage sale. I know we're all so ambitious. We think we can do these things. We need to get the house decluttered. It's time to give things away. So we're not going to be selling. We're going to be giving them away. Okay. All right. So morning routine is done. And now we're going to, we've got the laundry going and we've done the paper routine. Now we're going to quickly go and start our weekly plan, which is our weekly home blessing hour. So go get your broom, your vacuum cleaner, your mop. If you use a bucket, your bucket, your um, microfiber uh, t uh, scrubber, microfiber cloths or paper towels and Windex if that's what you use or whatever and get um, some kind of a duster. Not a, we're not going to Windex. I mean, we're not going to pledge. We're not. We're just going to dust like this. So you're going to get a Swiffer duster or a feather duster, something you can do a light dusting with. That's it. All right. Now what we're going to do is get that all in place first. And you might even want to do a little quick sweep in the kitchen if you didn't do that last night and run to the bathrooms and sweep that them out. You can just sweep them out to the area where you're going to vacuum. If your house doesn't have carpet or it has places where you don't have carpet, do you have a dust mop or something like that that you push around to get the, um, the dirt and, and hair and things up? If you don't, then a broom will do. All right, so I just want you to prep the kitchen and the bathrooms real quick. Okay, now start your timer for 10 minutes. Go upstairs or go to the back half of the house and start dusting. Dust everything in your house in 10 minutes. Don't dawdle, don't think, just dust. Put some music on and dust, 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 dust. And I can do my whole house in five minutes. And if you get it done early, excellent. Stop and go to the next thing. Let's empty the, the garbage in all the rooms. So run around and pick out those garbage bags from all the little garbage cans and then go line them with whatever you line them with. I use little plastic can liners, but for many years I just used a Walmart bag. So whatever, go line them, okay? When your 10 minutes is up, which you should probably be faster than that on this as well, also take the kitchen garbage out if it's full. Next is um, let's take care of the glass in our house. So go to your bathroom with your microfiber cloth or your Windex and paper towel or whatever you're gonna use and only 
wipe the places where there are spots or flecks or smudges. So five minutes, it probably won't even take you that long. Do the all mirrors in your, in your bathrooms. That's They get the worst of it. Um, then you might want to check to see if there's puppy nose prints or kid fingerprints on the sliding glass door. If you have a glass coffee table, get those wiped up real quick. We're not going to be Windexing like the old days where we really focused. You know, we're just going to do quick. Um, if you do decide to use Windex and paper towels, that's fine, but you're still just going to do that spot right there and go to the next one. All right, time's up on that. Now you're going to go to, um, let's see, we've, we've Windexed, we've put our sheets in the washer, so that's almost done. We've done the paper clutter. Um, okay, next let's do, um, let's vacuum. So turn your vacuum on and start vacuuming. Or if you don't have places to vacuum, sweep or dust mop. All the hard surfaces, but only um, in those places where people walk, traffic patterns. So we are not getting under the couch or under the in the corners or under the tables or anything like that. We're just getting in front of the chairs where people walk real quick. We're not vacuuming baseboards or anything like that. So go quick, 10 minutes, you've got the whole house to do. When that's done, get your mop ready, go into the kitchen and mop again, just the traffic patterns in front of the sink, in front of the dishwasher, in front of the uh, stove and the refrigerator, around the table, but not under the table, okay? Next, go to the bathroom and quick mop that up. Um, you don't even have to move anything. I usually stick my stuff on top of the toilet, like the garbage can and the and the Johnny plunger and the the little whiskey thing, the toilet brush. But you don't have to. Just you're gonna go real quick, real quick. And then when that's done, are we done? Let's see. Let's see. I have to always check my list. Even though I do it, I have to check my list. It's crazy because I am sidetracked. Okay. Paper, vacuum, mop, dust, polish. Okay, we've done everything. Now, is your dryer done? Go put your sheets on your bed and make that bed up. You're done, yay! And I bet it didn't even take an hour. If you focused, you can't be sidetracked. You've got to say, I'm on a mission. You know, it's just for one hour, just one hour at the most. Next, let's move to, um, you might want to put another load of laundry in because you probably have another load of laundry that needs to be done. Maybe a load of towels would be a good idea. Um, or think about what you guys are wearing to church tomorrow. Is there something that needs to be washed? Do you need to wash whites or do you need to wash darks? So think about that. Um, all right, so now we're going to do um, our grocery shopping and errands. So get your list that you made during the week and tell the kids goodbye, tell the hubby goodbye, you'll be back in an hour. Go straight to the grocery store unless there's something else you have to do like drop a library book off or by a birthday present. You don't want to leave the ice cream melting while you're doing those things. So be thoughtful and planful, but go quick. Don't dawdle in any of these stores. Your family's waiting for family day. So go, go to the grocery store, follow your list. It's helpful to put your list in categories. So once you write your list, you might want to rewrite it and just put all the fresh vegetables and fruits together, all the canned items together, all the boxed items together, all the dairy together, all the meat together, all the freezer things together. That's very helpful for me. That's how I have to shop and then I mark them off as I go. So I'm not running all over the store saying, oh, I forgot this or oh, I forgot that. Okay, once you've gotten that done, get it in your trunk, get to the house, get it out. If you have family say, come help me take groceries out of the trunk, that'll be helpful. And put them on the countertop and start unloading. Put them all away. You might wanna clean your celery, you might, might want to prep your carrots, I don't know, but get those things done and put it away. Take your bags, if you take, if you have shopping bags, fold them and put them away. If you use the store plastic bags, put them in the container that you use to have spare bags around the house. If you are up to here with those, throw them away or take them back to the store the next time. So ball them up and put them in the trunk because they usually have a recycle. You can't put them in your regular, I can't put them in my regular recycle. So we have a, a thing at the, the supermarket we can do. Once you're done with that, look at your menu. And you know, it's a good idea on these busy days to have a crock pot meal going. So maybe it's time to turn it on 
because it's still early if you've been doing these, just, just if you got up and did your morning routine in the real world, if you got up at seven, which is late for you, because right, you get up at six or earlier. So let's say you slept till seven, you got up, you did your morning routine, and you did, um, you, you couldn't strip your bed because your husband was in there, but at eight o'clock you stripped the bed. So let's say eight o'clock, breakfast was made, everybody comes and eats, you run in there and strip the bed and get that laundry going. At um, 9 o'clock, well, after breakfast, let's say 8.30, by 9.30, you're through with weekly home blessing at the outside. And if you leave the house by 10 to go to the grocery store, you're back by 11. All your work, you put it all away by 11.30. You've got the rest of the day. Do you remember the old days where we used to clean our house like a crazy woman all day long and we were spinning our wheels and everything was on fire and we couldn't get the fires out because we were spinning our wheels trying to get this done while this blew up and the kids tore that up. This is going to be a different lifestyle. This is going to be something that you will love to do because it won't be like that. We're not killing ourselves. Oh yeah, I did forget to tell you something. Zone three, the bathroom and one other room. That's where we are. We're in the zones. But you know what? This first time I want you to not worry about that. Let's just try this out without doing zones for a bit. And then we'll add zones next next week, okay? All right, this has been about a 26-minute video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope this is helpful. If you have any questions or concerns or challenges, please let me know in the comments, and I'll be happy to help you with that. I'm sorry if this, this was a little rambly, but it was just off the top of my head, and I wanted you to have it. Have a fantastic day, and you know what? You are beautiful.